nature has many predator killers, however. One of the most iconic is the crocodile, Bill or alligator. And today we'll be pitting two of the most powerful crocodiles in fiction against each other. King K. Rule, the leader of the crumbling crew, and Leatherhead. And the turtle, the nemesis of the team, the pseudo nemesis of the, the turtle, the allied, the pseudo, sometimes enemy, sometimes nemesis of the teenage unit of turtles. Here, the, for this battle, I'll be considering the 2012 2003 LV compositing, meaning the, the Leatherhead, compositing Leatherhead and Wooly. We're really using the K rules feeds from Donkey Kong Country 1 from the Donkey Kong Country trilogy. And well, it's just general scaling like to DK. The Crumbling Crew is a crew of crocodiles that spreads fear across the uh, across the, the surrounding islands. Led by the dangerous psychopath King K. Rule. <laughs> King K. Rule is the evil tyrant of the Donkey Kong series, having battled. DK several times. K Rule started his, his regular invasions of DK Island. The original Donkey Kong Country with plans to steal DK's banana horde so that the colonists would starve to death so that he can take DK's treehouse. K Rule. K Rule in this first form is his king, for him he only has one major ar weapon in his arsenal his crown, which allows him to throw, which he can throw like a boomerang. However, after being defeated by Donkey and Diddy Kong in Donkey Kong Country 2, Donkey Kong Country, he had left, and had later kidnapped Donkey Kong in Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Kong Quest. There he dons the role of Captain K. Rule. Here K. Rule gains a new major form of attack in his arsenal, that being his blunderbuss, which can fire many different forms of projectiles, being spike balls, normal. Normal shock, normal shells, normal wonderbus shells. Sound effect having gas attacks and pineapples. Trust me, it's very weird. Trust me, the Mario mangas are weird. However, after he was defeated by Don by Diddy and Dixie Kong yet again in Donkey Kong Country 2, he will have to devise another plan. And for this, he needed to kidnap both the yeah. both the original Kongs that had defeated him in Donkey Kong Country One. He and Dixie and Kitty to try to take down King K. Rule, or as he now went by in that game in Donkey Kong Country Three, Baron K. Rulenstein. He's now he has the propeller pack. That but he has the propeller pack from which allows him to work as a short tier recovery, short tier recovery ability. We also created the robot Chaos. The he made it from his wife's best pots and pans. However, shortly after his defeat in Donkey Kong Country 3, the K, K the giant crocodile had, had enough, so he decided to build the biggest weapon in his arsenal. Say it's a crystal banana, but we'll get to that. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. The, the Blastomatic. A weapon that was made specifically to destroy islands. However, he'd figure that the colonists would take the things necessary to destroy it. So he had put up an entire boxing ring plan where he took the moniker of Captain of King Crusha Rule, which is a box, which is his boxer form. And this he gives people to throw boxing gloves like like boomerangs. And the ability to cause shockwaves just by landing on the ground. However, K. Rule has always been defeated by, by the Kongs. K. Rule is very smart. It has a little great arse. He has his blunderbuss. So, uh, then his blunderbuss, brown, boxing gloves, and color pack, he has the claptrap gun from Donkey Kong, from the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Gives him the ability to shoot out clap traps, which eats through steel, which can eat through metal. Other 
things he has in his arsenal are, are the magical containment barrel from the, the Mario manga, which allows him to contain anyone in his unit. The last major thing of his arsenal of note is his most powerful weapon. This is truly most powerful weapon, is a crystal banana. After being, after face, chasing Donkey Kong down into the, into the home of the of alien bananas, trust me, Donkey Kong is weird. K. Rool ate, ate, ate the most powerful weapon in that universe, in that, its history, the crystal banana. That K. Rool gained a lot of new abilities, including attacks with meteors, including meteor attacks, the ability to shoot out spiked mines. Plus control of wind. Wind and electricity. So if everyone's going anywhere quick, he has several options. He has the Flying Croc, the Gangplank Galleon, and Crocodile Isle. Well, based off his version of DK64. His barrel jet from Donkey Kong, Kong Barrel Blast, and most notably of all, his his smaller flying croc model, which works out with like a, a small pilotable mech. He used this deal of DK Metal, then he become the leader of DK Island. The K rule is very powerful. He's like on par with Donkey Kong, who once punched the moon out of orbit. This should be, this should be comparable to this. He once tanked a punch point blank. He once tanked a punch from Donkey Kong, which sent him flying, which led him being eaten by sharks. That K rule lived. In terms of speed, K rule should be comparable to characters. Donkey Kong, who, who should be comparable to the Adam Mario characters who outran black holes. So, uh, the should be comparable to this game was riding being punched by Donkey Kong, which was powerful enough to punch the moon out of orbit. However, K rules not perfect. He tends to over really he doesn't really have much great, kind of great strategy and can be easily taken down if if he's he's taken by surprise. However, just because as the King of the Kremlin has these few advantages doesn't mean that he's any less of a threat. It's great to be a king. I see. Look here, look here, look what I got. Don't think all that is getting drop. In New York City, they, there's many. A mutants to face down, whether they be few turtles, mutant turtles are trained by a mutant rat, or or a or mutant fish. There's not a lot of things. There's really a lot of mutants. However, one of their most powerful mutants is a, a sewer alligator, a mutated alligator that lives in the sewers, known as Leatherhead. Leatherhead's a creation of the Shr is a, a mutant was created by the Shredder. I mean, specifically to kill the Ninja Turtles. However, it's inconsistent whether Leatherhead really wants to kill the turtles. Leatherhead fights on par with the Ninja Turtle. On um, par with the Ninja Turtles. And has his own sort of auto rocket launcher. Yeah, the bite for is comparable to. In terms of strength, he's fighting on par with. And Israel's including Raphael, who is including Leonardo, who is capable of prying open the jaw of a Triceraton. In terms of speed, he should be comparable to Leonardo, who battled the Shredder, who can move so fast as that the normal human eye cannot detect it. And in terms of durability, he once survived had to battle with the Shredder, the same Shredder who could who could destroy buildings. However, Leatherhead is not perfect. He has been defeated by the turtles several times before. And ultimately Leatherhead has just made that one major disadvantage and Leatherhead has proven to really be a great fighter.
All right, the reptiles are ready. Let's see which, which, which crocodilian brings us cool battle this time for a bad a fight of the reptiles. Location, New York City. Dun, 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 Other head is shown when sleeping. With the Ninja Turtles. What making their rounds? It's, it's on the a pirate ship. It's donning the head of, of a of a crocodile with a giant eye. Crashes us to the shore. The city better bow to its new ruler. King K. Rool. Huh. There's Leatherhead. He goes up to just Crocodile King. He's like, hmm. Better start talking before I blast between your eyes. Between your eyes. K. Rool's like, huh. You dare talk back to me? I'll prove you insolent, you, you traitorous crumbling. <sighs> I'll make you eat those words. The word fight appears as is Leatherhead bites K. Rule. It's K. Rule counters by kicking K. Kicking Leatherhead in the legs. Ah. K. Rule then from body checks. It's Leatherhead back with his golden stomach as oh. K. Rule. Then starts firing several shots from his his blunderbuss. He did a projectile hitting Motherhead. And Motherhead, however, when Pino will go, he uses his bottle rocket launcher. However, it goes the wrong way because of the effect of one of the status effect glass clouds. Yes. Pineapple conks Leatherhead on the back of the head. Uh, and runs up and tries to bite K. Rool one more time. As K. Rool then takes the claptrap gun and fires it into claptrap into Leatherhead's mouth, which staggers Leatherhead before K. Rool tosses his Leatherhead onto the New York, the Empire State Building. And as K. Rool and then Brings out the blastomatic. <laughs> he then fires the ray from the from the blastomatic as it blasts through the Empire State Building, destroying it. The process of disintegrating Leatherhead. <laughs> An easy win for the Kremlings. KO. Okay, that was pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cruel, not gonna lie. Leatherhead really didn't have a lot of ways to really take down K. Rule. That's why, due to the fact that K. Rule physically outclassed Leatherhead in every major way. Mm, intelligence is really a, a, a really hard toss up. I mean, normally K. Rule would be intelligent because he seems to make a lot of his own machinery, but. He and his persona of Captain K. Rool, of Baron K. Rool and Sign, built chaos out of his wife's best pots and pans. So, ultimately, K. Rool has the mental advantage here. And the end looks like Leatherhead. And met a cruel end at the end of King K. Rool. The winner is King K. Rool. Next time on this series, he's. Eeny, meeny, miny. Yeah! <laughs> what? I don't think you did it. Because Mr. Bush called and said you're missing a lot of work. Where are you going? I was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Bowser versus Dick.